Hi, Jesus Freak. I'd like to address two things from your video. The first is the issue of saying happy holidays rather than Merry Christmas. And then I'd like to move on to the question you pose at the end of your video. So first things first, why shouldn't we say Merry Christmas? As you said, it is Christmas time. Christmas is the holiday. Why relabel the season? Well, that's just the thing. Christmas is a day, not a season. In fact, this season is called the holiday season because there are a plethora of religious holidays, and secular for that matter, this time of year, not just Christmas. Even if you wanted to extend what Christmas is and include all the commercial hype that begins on Black Friday and extends all the way through Christmas Day, how does Christmas gain any more ownership over the season than the other holidays? Don't the days Hanukkah happen to fall on, for example, belong at least a little more to that holiday than to yours? Would you expect store clerks to say Happy Hanukkah to everyone they saw over those eight days? Somehow I doubt it. Saying Happy Holidays to someone you don't know is simply polite because you're not making any assumptions about who they are, what they celebrate, or what they believe. It has nothing to do with fear of offending atheists or any other group of non-Christians. This has everything to do with realizing that this season does not belong to you. And it is frighteningly ignorant and arrogant to assume that it does. Now, to your question, you essentially say that you wouldn't celebrate a holiday that goes against your beliefs. So you don't understand why an atheist would celebrate a holiday that is dedicated to something they either don't buy or actively oppose. Well, then I'd have to wonder why you celebrate Christmas the way that you do. Why would you put up a Christmas tree? That has nothing to do with Christ. That is borrowed from an old Germanic pagan tradition where people would bring trees into their homes during winter because they believed that if they protected it and kept it warm, they'd be able to magically afford that same protection to all of the surrounding plant life. Almost everything about our Christmas celebrations is borrowed from somewhere else. Hell, even the day, December 25th, that's borrowed from Mithraism. We have no reason to believe that Jesus was born on December 25th. In fact, our best estimates place the birth of Christ sometime in late September. So, if what was really important to you was not partaking in traditions that go against your beliefs, then all you do to celebrate the birth of your Lord and Savior was go to some special service sometime in late September. Sounds like fun. Now, I'm pretty sure that you're not ready to stop putting up a Christmas tree, and I bet your daughter doesn't want to do that either. And I'm guessing that the reason you put up a tree is extremely similar to the reason I celebrate Christmas. You don't believe that you're extending some magical protection to nearby forests. You put up a tree because it's tradition. It's fun. It's something that you've always done and something that you've always loved ever since you were a kid. It's an integral part of a time of year where you celebrate, enjoy the company of your family, and have fun the way that we should in life. For me, Christmas is the same. I don't believe that the Son of God was born in December or that your God exists at all. But I celebrate on the 25th because I enjoy the celebration. For me, Christmas is about family, love, and fun. And why shouldn't I have such a celebration? Why shouldn't I have a holiday dedicated to the things in life that I value? And why can't I call that Christmas? In any case, I... I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope that you were able to take something away from it, that you learned something. 
And I hope that you let your daughter watch this too. Have a happy new year.